Well guys, exactly what I prepared for happened. I just blew a hydraulic line. Oh yeah. It's a rock. Ah, which one was it? Look at this fluid everywhere. There it is. Right there. Huh. This is fun. This is fun. Help with the old and with the new. What's going on everybody? Today's Saturday, January 6th, 2024. Happy New Year. I just spent the morning getting my truck and everything all set up for this snowstorm. Weather guys are saying anywhere from 6 to 12 inches and in the majority of Massachusetts. Winter storm warning. 8 to 12, they upped it. A lot of winds too, so that's something you gotta be careful for. Limbs breaking. Right there, there you go. Looks like it's gonna start about 8. It's coming. Let's see how big it is. Oh yeah. Cape Cod and the lower part of Mass right here is just gonna probably get hit with rain. But all central Mass is probably gonna get slammed. Looking forward to it. And just to let you guys know, if you don't already from my, my last years of plowing and the videos before, I subcontract myself out, me and my truck out to a company. I used to do that for my cousin's company and now I do it for a company I worked for before. Outstanding, dude. Look at, look at you. Come on. Look at you. Come on. Let's get a look at Travis, too. <laughs> How's Travis look? Travis is always looking good. Travis, how are you looking, dude? I'm looking great. <laughs> yeah, peanut butter pretzel time. He's getting his energy, bud. You look good, too. Come Thank on. You. Show Come the on. camera yourself a little more often. Some deep snow, Benny. Deep and hard. You talking sexually to me? Yeah, you know, I thought about that after I said it. <laughs> you know, I didn't sound so good. Oh man, clear the ice off my windshield again. Hello? What's that? I said I need to ask you a favor. Sure. Can you come back to the shop and bring your seats in? I'm going to give you a different route. Um, I want to give you one that has shoveling. So that, is it your nephew? No, it's my brother-in-law. He works with me full time. All right, yeah. So that, so that if, if Dave found out that I stuck you guys on a route that had one shovel, my ass would be grass. this in front of garage doors i could get in there and try to work it a little more with the plow but anybody that plows knows you start doing that with wet snow you just pack it down and make it really hard to clean up so we shoveled it So I pretty much just get paid hourly for me and my truck. I go in and I do a driveway list and that's what I've been doing for years. I've always been a residential driveway plow guy. It's what I like to do. I don't like to be in commercial parking lots or just going back and forth. I like having a driveway route. Keeps me awake, keeps me alert. I can't believe, just like everybody else in the area, that we haven't had one plowable event yet and it's January 6th. 
it's kind of the same pattern as it's been for a few years now and everyone's been waiting for a, a big snowy winter to come maybe it'll be now maybe once it starts it'll just keep coming we'll see i'm just excited to get out there and plow for anybody who has not seen my plow videos previously i got a 2017 ford f-250 xlt it's just the six two liter gas engine but it's been very very reliable got my custom fisher minute mount 2 plow i painted that last year still holding up pretty good i went through all of that i dielectric greased the connections all the the plow markers are good the lights are good everything's good i looked through all my truck all the fluids are good the antifreeze and the motor oil was a little bit low so i added some to that but it's all good now i'm gonna be going solo on this one no benny he's about to be having his third baby so he can't come out his wife is due anytime got a bunch of some would say yellow buckets <laughs> I need one more but i'm gonna end up having uh one on that side one on this side wherever i have to salt i, I can grab a bucket and then we'll be putting four buckets in the bed of the truck and all those will be filled with salt with the lids on them it's always important as a plow guy to over prepare your truck for anything that might happen and that's something i always try to do so i got couple straps here but underneath the straps I have two long chains for pulling somebody out or getting pulled out if I get stuck I got a bunch of um, just right OB battery stuff I got four batteries in there this is just a radio but I could charge things off it if needed be worst case scenario I got some tools under here for any small repairs I got engine oil antifreeze rain -X, some invisible glass in case my windshield gets really dirty and a nice little salt scoop and in the bed of the truck i had to add some weight so i got some wall block and i've also got a pallet of just kind of random pavers that have been laying around my house got five tiers of of pavers on that and then some wall blocks that'll help give me some down pressure on my rear wheels you need that when you're plowing and they're saying that this is supposed to be kind of heavy snow so if we got six or eight or even ten inches of snow and it's heavy and you don't have any weight in the back of your truck you're just going to be spinning your wheels so this is where i'll put the two extra buckets of uh, salt on each side i got this little toolbox here full of extra stuff so i got three new hoses in case any of the hoses on my plow pop i got jumper cables i got more hydraulic fluid and just some extra odds and ends that might help me if anything were to break down i got a main shovel over there a little sledgehammer and a bar in case i need to do anything with the plow some extra shovels a spade and a flat metal shovel for ice or to dig myself out of something you just always got to be thinking of all the different scenarios that could happen and the longer you've plowed for the more years you've plowed the easier it is for you to think of all the situations because you've been through all of them and i've pretty much been through all of them so i try to get myself set up for everything anything that can go wrong with my truck i can basically fix there on site unless it's something catastrophic which you can't really plan for and of course, I got my little poly tamper. That's going to be my tripod to get you guys some good clips. If you guys that normally watch my videos, let me know. I bought a new GoPro. That's what I'm filming with. I got a GoPro 12. So I'm looking forward to see the difference in the video quality. But anyway, I'm all set for the storm, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. If so, hit that like button. Feel free to comment about anything. I love uh, interacting with people in the comment section. So. Let's just get right into the day, guys. Well, good morning, guys. It is 1.57, and that's not a good temperature for snow. 
that means it's heavy, wet, and packs down. Which is excellent if you're building a snowman, but not the greatest when you're plowing. Because everything packs down, so say you drive over the snow with your wheels, packs it down nice and tight, it makes it hard to scrape. I'm not quite sure how good you can see on camera right now, but you probably got three inches already, maybe a little more. Goes the cops. Lights are good. Four wheel drive hubs are locked in. Wipers are working. Don't think I put my extra wipers in the truck. All right, spare wipers. Spectrum's out. Let's put this in a four wheel. I do have a check engine light. Not quite sure what it is. It's been on for like a week and a half. Two o'clock. Quick shout out to my sister. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but that's just a little, um, it's a Christmas ornament my sister had made for me, but I put it on my mirror. That's my dog Gimli that I lost earlier in 2023. You guys might remember him if you've been watching my channel for a while. So he's with me today plowing. Got that. And she also made me a nice little keychain. That's my favorite one right there. Snowing. That's what I, I'm going to miss. After every snowstorm, I came home, chilled on the deck with my dog, and drank a beer. No dog this time, just beer. We're off. Four wheel drive seems to be working. Oh yeah. It's supposed to snow for another 12 hours actually, till about two or three this afternoon. So there's going to be some accumulations for sure. Everything I plow is going to get done twice, minimum. Roads don't seem horribly slippy. <laughs> I don't even know if that was a word. 2024 season's exciting. I've got a lot of work that I've got to go estimate already. Got probably six or eight customers from the past couple years that are interested in, in getting some quotes. So after this storm, I got a couple things left to do before I can close out my season. And then I'm gonna be on the grind going out doing estimates and getting myself set up for the next year, which is this year, <laughs> it's 2024 right now. It's so weird. The first time I'm plowing actually being in January, it's always either November or December, my first plowing. So I'm sure you all can relate up here in the Massachusetts area, New England area. I don't know, I think Maine up a little bit more north has gotten some snow already, but we've just missed it a few times. Oh, is the boss. What's up, Tom? Hey, how are you? You already on your way in? I am, dude. I am. I was going to just text you, but I figured you were freaking bombed with, with stuff. Yeah, no, but yeah, if I send out those group texts, yeah, just do shoot me a text because, I mean, I literally send out group texts for a while and then I start calling people directly. Okay. So, uh, you, uh, you got your app, right? Your list is on there. Okay. Um, are you bringing Devin with you? Ah uh, no, well his name's Benny, but no, he um he's got a kid uh, on the way. What's that? My uh my brother-in-law Ben is who I usually bring with me, but he's actually his wife's pregnant and could be due either today or tomorrow, so. Oh, all right. 
So, so flying solo. Right, well, let me know how it goes. Okay, but um, so. I'll uh, I will double check the app when I get closer out your way, and I'll call you if I got any questions. Okay, great. Thanks, right. Kyle. No problem, Tom. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. bye. This company I'm working for, they have a nice app. It's called Service Autopilot, and that's how they do all their lists and tracking and stuff. It's got a GPS in it, and um, they pretty much get all the routes factored out for you, and you just sign in punch in and out of the houses that you plow, write down notes, it's pretty cool. So anyway, yeah, the 2024 season coming up for the hardscape is gonna be pretty interesting, I think, um, going into this year with a machine. Last year I started it without that machine. I was hoping to get the Kubota before the season started, but that never happened. I didn't get it till half of the season was over. So I think that's gonna make a difference going into the to the new year, having the machine already. I'll still be renting some excavators here and there when I need them. But yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of work lined up and that's gonna be a lot different than this past year, 2023. I had a couple jobs lined up going into the spring and then did the majority of my sales um, through the spring and summer to keep myself busy through the whole year, which wasn't a problem. I stayed busy, I got a lot of work, but it was quite a grind going out and doing all the estimates um, after working all day on the jobs. So this year I'm looking forward to having a lot of jobs lined up going into the spring. So I'm, I'm not so much having to go out and sell at the end of the days like crazy. I know I'm gonna be all set so I can just work all day, schedule appointments here and there in between, and it, it shouldn't be as stressful as it was this past year. That's what I'm hoping for. Fingers crossed. 320, I'm en route to the first house, say in 10 minutes. I am plowing in Sudbury again this year. Pretty much the same route. It looks like there might be a couple new ones. I'm gonna send it past this guy. He's plowing at a good pace, but I'm gonna send it. So I'm driving through the center of Hudson right now, Hudson, Mass. I don't know how well you can see anything. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I got a new GoPro and I'm curious to see how much better it is. I've filmed everything that's been on my channel with two GoPro Hero 8s. And the one I bought is a Hero 12, so it's four generations newer. There's definitely a lot more. It's a lot more in depth. When I was going through the setup, there's a lot more things you can do with it. There's things you can add on to the camera, like audio mods and better lenses, so we'll see. There's less snow out here than there was in my house, that's for sure. But the way the map was showing it, um, Sudbury Mass is more like northeast of where I live in Oxford, which is kind of South Central Mass. So the storm was hit in my area first and coming this way, so we'll see what happens, but there's, there's probably three inches on the ground here. You guys that plow, you know how like weird the snow silence is? Like it's really loud, but it's almost like a white noise. Like just the sound of driving on snow, but I love it. It's my favorite time to be out plowing, like three in the morning, four in the morning. Very, very little traffic. Fresh snow everywhere. It's beautiful. Well guys, Exactly what I prepared for happened. I just blew a hydraulic line and I barely hit something too. I think it was like this rock or something. I don't even know what I hit. Oh yeah. It's a rock. Ah, which one was it? We got this fluid everywhere. Fluid everywhere. Which one is it? There it 
is right there. That's the one. Honestly, like I said before, that is why you need to be prepared. If I didn't have a hydraulic hose right now, I'd be screwed. I'm still kind of bummed because it's going to take me probably 20 minutes to get this all figured out, but at least I'll be up and rolling again. Awesome. Underneath freaking two pine trees. Could snap. There's pine trees everywhere. It's not even a good spot to do this. I guess I could back up some more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up more. Cause I don't want to get crushed by a pine tree. Alright. Alright, so when this happens, what you need to do is get the the piston that lifts it up, push that all the way down. You need to get all the pressure out of the system. I mean, the blown hose is gonna help get all the pressure out of the system, obviously. But that needs you need to make sure that happens or else when you go to take the hose off and everything, it could really um, make a big mess and possibly get in your eyes and stuff like that. So that's another thing. You wanna be able to have some glasses, safety glasses. You wanna put some gloves on here and branches start like snapping everywhere because the snow's so heavy. Gloves. Some glasses. And quite honestly, the only thing you need is a couple adjustable wrenches. One. Maybe you can get regular wrenches that fit your exact plow stuff but I've never had a problem using just adjustables flashlight it's just the way it is Pretty sure it's the longest one because it goes from the top all the way down to the bottom opposite side. I'm really happy I have this. I'm going to disconnect it from the bottom first. I'm going to hold this bolt, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. Well, we loosen that. And I am not a very good mechanic. Just so you know. Wow, that thing's really tight. Probably can't see anything on the camera either, can you? We got it loosened up. All right. Now we want to put this on and follow it. These are wet. There we go. Now you're getting somewhere, Kyle. Alright. 
that side's on. And it's connected to that bracket right there. Uh, looks like a freaking ten or something. I don't know. Might be a twelve. Oh no, that's a ten. Twelve. Looks like it was the ten. It's always the freaking ten. No, it's not the ten. This is fun. This is fun. Fun. There it goes. You guys hear that? It's a damn E11. Looks like it's gonna work out for me. Help with the old and with the new. Now we gotta put some more fluid in it because you know it lost a good amount. Oh, I need a funnel. I just got the Fisher Easy Flow Hydraulic Fluid. A few other things you can use, but that's what I use. tight that always scares me There it goes. Oh boy. Not too much on that one. And listen, I know. I got hydraulic fluid on the customer's driveway, but there's really nothing you can do about that, guys. You gotta pick the best spot to deal with what happened to you, so. Closed up, I got all this stuff out of there. Set my flashlight. That's good. That's good. Let's test it. Look at that, guys. All fixed. Didn't have to call nobody. Another tree just broke down back there. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. That definitely didn't sound like it was low on fluid. It picked it up and moved everything around just fine. So I'm just gonna let it be. Maybe check it again later in the day. I gotta get moving on this. I've been here for, that was probably a good solid 20 minutes, like I said. 
And I got hydraulic fluid everywhere. All right, back to plowing. I certainly could have went in there with the plow and pulled some stuff back but with this heavy wet snow what ends up happening and happening <laughs> what ends up happening is you compress it into the driveway and this is a really nice driveway nice house they pay for shoveling of basically everything so the main concern on a place like this is getting it proper and sometimes around the garage door like that, shoveling is the only way to do to do that. So the time is what it is. I think that's something that's starting to fade away. And um, this kind of industry is quality. It's all quantity. If you want me to do quality, it's going to cost you a lot of money. And that's what happens with these companies. They charge for all that quality it's every line item every everything you shovel the walkways the garage doors it all adds up getting covered again but that's a lot of snow out of the way it's gonna make the second pass much easier all right so that's only a portion of the driveway believe it or don't
Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what goes into the preparation before the storm and why it's so important, as you've seen when I blew the hydraulic line. In a lot of situations, people aren't prepared to fix that right on site, so they end up having to call somebody, wait, and have a lot of downtime. So the preparation goes a long way. But anyway, the next video that I upload is going to be strictly plowing. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button to see more content like this. And you guys already know the deal. Until the next video, God bless. Peace. <laughs>